an era of streaming where everything seems so doom and gloom, it just seems like a place where IRL streamers can go around stealing people's food or getting their Ross's takes off and pushing around people, doing basically illegal things on stream, being pedos and all types of sort of things. There seems to be a bright spot that we can look to for the horizon of streaming that will save us one day. Nah, that's crazy glaze. But of course, I'm talking about Kaizenet. What he's doing right now is some of the most generational stuff we've ever seen. And honestly, if we think about it, he's been changing the streaming game for a lot of people to come. Look, before Kai Sinat came on the scene, streaming was synonymous with video gamers staying in their rooms, doors closed, dark windows, webcams, and COD lobbies full of curse words and racial epithets. Most of the biggest names in streaming were people who were doing video games or maybe some sort of commentary, but even in the background of those things were video games. And while some of those old school names like XQC are here, it would take a young Kai Sinat to come along on the scene and change the entire landscape of streaming culture. I mean, even when Kai Sinat plays video games, it seems like it's a huge deal and he puts you into this immersive experience and it's not just your regular cut it on play the game type of feel he's doing crazy crazy challenges like this one he's doing with Elden Ring right now I've never seen someone take their entire space and theme it out in order to play a simple video game. But that's just the thing. Kai Sinat is a marketing genius and the team that he has behind him is so amazing that it's never just pop in the disc and play. It's come experience this event with me as I play an ordinary game and take it into extraordinary heights. Now, mind you, he's not even good at the game. And this isn't the first time he's done stuff like this. Kai Sinat purposefully takes games that he knows he's not good at, either puts wagers on them or ridiculous challenges on them. So many of people can see him fail time and time again. Kind of like he did with his Madden betting series. Just one, just one, just one. It's over. It's over. <laughs> fucking dumbass fucking. Dumbass fucking game, bro. And now he's on a non-stop quest to play Elden Ring until he beats the game, bringing along his friends along the way and different props and different acts just to make the experience seem more than just like your average typical gamer. And coming up in a world of like machinima gaming where everyone had to be the best of the best of the best, you know, you had to be top trick shotter, or you had to go for a nuke every time. It's amazing to see how Kai Sinat has revolutionized the world of entertainment and gaming where he has now made his own niche where being terrible is literally something that people will love to watch and see. Now that was after 20 hours and 252 deaths and 5.2 million views later on a tweet of somebody losing in video games so much. It's the most captivating thing in the world. It's even garnered the audience of celebrities like Travis Scott. Look what Travis Scott just sent me, bro. That boy travel out of And it's not just that he's garnering so many eyes and so much attention on him from doing this. It's also the fact that he is now getting people to make content like myself off of him being terrible at a video game, which is something that's so crazy. There's a guy out there named Point Crow who programmed it so his goldfish would be able to play Elden Ring. And the goldfish was able to beat the same boss in only 30 tries, making Kaisenat one, the literal worst gamer that we've ever seen in the world. But two, we've also seen a pioneering and engineering feat that has never done before and also a marketing feat that really only boosts Kai Sinat's platform. Yes, 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 the full heal. That was huge, that was huge. Okay, this could be it, this could be it. Mortally, please stop healing. You don't have any heals. Let's go. Where he swims around in the tank, it will see exactly his position. And then based on where that is, it'll press a button in the game. The way that came about was I saw this creator where he had his goldfish control Scarlet and Violet. The game ends up crashing as it does. And then it accesses the Nintendo eShop, buys a whole bunch of games, leaks his credit card information. It's the first and probably only ever recorded instance of a goldfish committing credit card fraud. And we've seen Kai Sinat do amazing feats before. His short movie was crazy. His subathons where he's had a lot of people from his past that have helped him along the way to get to where he is is crazy. <laughs>
We've seen Kai be a mainstay and honestly become the face of this generation when it comes to hip hop journalism with the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef. And every rapper when they have an album to promote seemingly comes up to Kai Sinat's room. What Kai has done is taken the idea of being in your room gaming or in your room just talking to yourself in your chat to a whole nother level. For sure he still does things like that. And while he's doing it, he's doing boneheaded things along the way. But nonetheless, what he is doing is totally innovative and it's totally different from what we and other people are now conditioned to believe when somebody says that they're a streamer. Usually when somebody says they're a streamer in 2024, you're thinking Neon or Jack or some other IRL cringe dude Vitaly who's going out there harassing a bunch of people or saying things that are racially based and insensitive. But from that chair, knowing that you can get like a Nike deal, knowing that you can get Tyla and Ice Spice, knowing that you can get as much money and be the biggest streamer in the world by being your creative self and your genuine self on camera and not have to go out there and harass other people is honestly impressive and something that a lot of people need to look out for in the future. Kai Sinat is one of a kind and it's easy to admit that because these are some one of a kind feats. However, I think a lot of people could take steps from what Kai Sinat is doing and put it into their own content. It's okay to invest in what you're doing. It's okay to be creative. You don't have to copycat everybody else. No, you don't have to be some sort of edge lord in order to be an ultra and successful streamer. Hell, those people aren't even ultra successful. They are literally just irritating. I think it's safe to say Kai Sinat is the biggest streamer in the world. Not necessarily because of the numbers on the screen, but the impact that he's had on the world. And honestly, the ripples that we're seeing afterwards, we're seeing Jinxie and Sketch get their own boost and notoriety and be out in different things like NFL drafts or becoming mainstays in sports. Going that route of creativity and being yourself is going to pay off in the long term. And I hope that people take a lesson from it. But let me know what you guys think about that.